William and Harry put on a display of unity with the royal family as Queen Elizabeth II's coffin made its journey to Westminster Hall from Buckingham Palace on Westminster Hall. Princess Anne, Princess Andrew and Prince Andrew and Prince Edward also followed the coffin on foot alongside Peter Phillips, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, the Duke of Gloucester and the Earl of Snowdon. Queen Consort Camilla Kate, Princess of Wales, Sophie, Countess of Wessex and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, travel by car. The procession left the palace just before 2.30 p.m. Silence fell among the thousands crowd, strong crowd as a muffled drum draped in black was beaten at 75 paces per minute. Queen Elizabeth II's coffin was draped in the royal standard with the imperial state crown on a velvet cushion with a wreath of flowers atop and carried on a gun carriage of King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. The crown was positioned in front of a wreath made up of white roses, spray white roses, white dahlias and a selection of foliage including pine. The band of the Scots Guards and the band of the Grenadier Guards displayed funeral marches throughout the procession starting with Beethoven's Funeral March No. 1. 